Chef Herbs. It's been a hot second since I've cranked that Soldier Boy, if you know what I'm saying. But welcome to this week's Purple Thursday, where I'm about to do something just a little bit different. I'm gonna take you guys to the grocery store and teach you about just a few of the products that I use to make my life a little bit healthier. So it's gonna be super fun and hopefully super educational. So let's get started. All right, so we're headed into Acme. I'm going to go shopping and teach you guys all of my tricks up my sleeve of the products that can save you on nutrition value and calories. So let's do this. Okay, I'm in the natural food section because not as many people are shopping here, but I'm gonna go through things one by one that I have in my cart that is gonna explain. Okay, is gonna explain why some of these items are better than the other and why it's a good alternative. So I'm gonna start with what struck this idea. Here's the first thing I have yogurt dressing. The thing about this is, oh my gosh, my glasses are gonna hog up this whole time. Okay. The thing about this is it's going to be in the cool section by the salad, so it needs to stay cool. It's 45 calories per teaspoon versus, um, and only 2 grams of sugar and 3 grams of fat because it's made with yogurt instead of cream, so it has the same flavor, but it's a lot better than the 130 calories per 2 um, tablespoons here. So same serving size. The next thing that I have here is some milk. So I have 2% milk. Um, I use milk a lot. I don't have a lactose problem, but the milk I buy is not this regular 2% milk, but it's one cup is a serving, 130 calories, 12 grams of sugar, eight grams of protein. So that's pretty standard for 2% milk. But I like to buy Fair Life. Fair Life is filtered milk. It costs more, so some of the, most of these products are probably going to run you a little bit more. But it's just a way to keep your food tasting the same without totally altering your diet. So okay, so we have the 130 calories per one cup, and this is 120 calories per cup. But the thing here is about this: it's lactose-free, so that's super good. And then also. It has 13 grams of protein, so more protein, and six grams of sugar per one cup. So that's a significant lot less sugar. I like this milk, it tastes delicious. And it's a good way to be lactose free without um, having to buy like almond milk or coconut milk because I mean, those are good options, but they don't taste the same. And I like milk, so my hands are getting cold. I'm gonna put these down. All right. The next thing here in the dairy section of things is going to be sour cream. So I have sour cream here, I have regular sour cream, and then light sour cream. And we're going to kind of go like down the row of what you can change it with. So this is two tablespoons for 60 calories. Um, the fat isn't as bad as I would guess, but the serving size is really small, so 30 grams. That's not, not very much. So it's easy to use more than two tablespoons, especially when you're making dips, because as you guys know, I made that dip, and if you made it with sour cream, you would just be eating so many calories um, after a little bit. So this is gonna be 35 calories, so for the two tablespoons. So they cut it in half. So then we have 5% fat, um, yogurt here and so this is gonna be thick like original sour cream like super thick and that will be 190 calories for your 200 grams all right so I'm gonna have to do some math on that with the difference I don't buy this I just thought I would share it that if it's 5% milk fat it's gonna taste very similar 
um, to your sour cream. So it's important to get plain flavored because it is just gonna, if you get a flavored one, it's, well, you know what flavored yogurt tastes like. It's not gonna be the same. So here's what I like to replace with is a fat-free Greek yogurt. Um, it's almost guaranteed one cup, 150 grams is 80 calories. So once again, I gotta do math on this because this is 30 grams is a serving and that's 60 calories. So that, that math alone is like incredible. Even if you were to compare it versus the light, which it's probably more similar to. So that's my soapbox, not that. Okay, let's move on. All right, so I like to use liquid aminos if I'm doing anything Asian. So it is a great soy sauce alternative. It has no calories. So I sodium is 320 milligrams per, per teaspoon. So that's pretty good. Hi, do you need in here? Oh, you know what? I was just peeking. <laughs> I have celiac and I curious what all they have over here, but gluten-free. I don't know if A good amount of stuff is gluten-free. Oh, good. I can pause. I'm, I'm not soy sauce done. So soy sauce has 10 calories per tablespoon, and this has no calories. So, I mean, you're counting calories, I guess. But we're just more looking at the sodium content because this, for one tablespoon, has uh, 1,080 grams, milligrams of sodium. And this has 320, and they taste virtually the same. So it's an obvious choice. This is gonna cost more, but your health is worth the money. Okay, moving on. I am gonna talk spaghetti. I love pasta. I don't, well, I guess that's a lie. I don't love pasta. I love pasta sauce. So pasta is the vehicle to delicious meat and sauce. So I have this pasta here. I don't know, let's see. Two ounces is 200 calories and a lot of carbs. So we know this is a lot of carbs. Here's the deal. I really like spaghetti squash too. So I will cook this in the oven for probably, I guess 30 minutes at 425 degrees. And I just slice it up this way. And I mix this in with this. So it's not that I don't use spaghetti. I just like to use a little bit less because the carbs are so heavy that I just, I just feel like crap afterwards. So I like to do kind of like a half and half mix. And I really, I enjoy the crunch of the spaghetti swatch. Um, I mean, you can barely tell that it's not spaghetti. So it's actually really nice. So that's what I like to do. Okay. Next we have the Extreme Wellness Tortillas. I actually don't buy these very often, um, but they are, if you're looking to cut back on your carb intake, this is a good option. It has not 1.5 grams of fat in one tortilla. Let's see what else. It's got 15 grams of carbs, which I think is about half of a normal tortilla that's this size. So this is the same size tortilla. Now you can see just by me holding it, that this one is floppier. So you're gonna have to crisp this up more to get the, to get it to hold as much soupy stuff like than this one. So just keep in mind that these ones are flimsier. So, but this has about the same sodium, if that's an issue, but the carbs is 25 grams and it's 150 calories. So I just, you know, sometimes, but not often. Here is something I always buy. Um, so this is some sausage and it is a uh, kielbasa, the Polska kielbasa sausage. So good, love cooking with this, but it is 180 calories and 140 of those are fat. So that's like just so much fat, I can't even. So there's an alternative option. It's still not, you know, perfect, but this is 100 calories and 45 grams of fat. So it virtually tastes the same. This is one of the turkey options that I feel actually tastes as good as the regular option. So I'm a big advocate of the turkey sausage. So always look for the turkey sausage. You could do a side-by-side -side taste test if you don't believe me, but I think it's just as good. So 
Last but not least, the dessert. I have here some vanilla bean ice cream. This is actually one of the healthier ones. It's made with skim milk, so I grabbed it healthy. Vanilla bean, per two thirds a cup. Actually, we'll just do per container because I think that, yeah, we have this here per container. So it's 890 calories. It is so easy to eat a whole container of this. I mean, 890 calories, that's like almost half of your daily calorie intake. So ice cream can really get you. But this right here, Halo Top, and a lot of people know about this, but I love Halo Top because it's something about finishing the entire pint that just feels right. So I understand if you finish this, I'm not judging you. I'm just saying that this is 280 calories and delicious. So I like to make milkshakes with this with a bear life. I do this milkshake. I add the ice cream, the milk, and various amounts of topping. Sometimes I put cake in it, which I guess kind of defeats the purpose, but I, but it's all about maybe making some healthy choices within unhealthy things. So say I wanna put M&Ms in my milkshake. Okay, well I feel a lot better about it when I have this ice cream versus this in there because this is already unhealthy and then I'm adding unhealthy on top of unhealthy. So I like to add something semi-healthy to another semi-healthy thing and then maybe something a little unhealthy because you gotta treat yourself. So. That's it. I'm getting off my soapbox. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next week for more food and more fun.